uh, laptop camera not working from Vincent. Hello, Vincent. I see you support my channel through the membership. And um, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And thank you for sending me this ticket. It says, hello, I received a ticket from user whose camera is not working. They first noticed the issue when joining a team's meeting. I did everything I could I could think of. Please let me know if you have any if you have seen similar issues. Verified users uh, had issues had I'm sorry. It's it's early in the morning for me. And I already made another video for Office 365. So I'm a little bit burnt out. So but that's okay. Verified users had access to camera in settings. Okay, that's good. Successfully verified that yes, they do. That's great. Had the user verify that any privacy tabs were open. Uh, yes, successfully verify the user opened any privacy tab. Okay. Verify that the camera was allowed for apps. Successfully verify that apps have access to camera. Verify the teams had access to the camera. It says failed, no camera found. Okay. Uh, verified camera app worked, failed, camera not found. Try to verify all drivers were updated, fail, camera not found in the device manager. Ran hardware and device troubleshooter, fail, not able to detect, to detect any issues. The only thing I can think of now is it might be hardware related, any suggestions or tips? I think it is hardware related because you've, you've pretty much covered everything. Uh, let's just kind of see a couple of things that we did here already checked. So if you just type in camera, camera app on your computer, it will pull up the camera and then it will show you to see if anything else. And here is an error. It says we can't find your camera, right? So there's no camera plugged in. So that's fine. Uh, there is a, there's also a menu, camera privacy settings here. You see all of these things on the left side. It says camera privacy settings and all of these access apps he went through all of that and made sure that it's enabled and working so if you go through here and uh, you can see whether camera is allowed to be used right and this is managed by administrator and, and that's fine and then here it is allow apps to access your camera if you allow your access you can choose which apps so this is you know basically allowing apps to use your camera and if it's enabled all like this then that's fine you know so make sure you go through and check to make sure all of these are enabled and checked as an on, not off. So that's what he checked already. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this one, privacy tabs. Uh, I'm not sure how that's related. Uh, it might be something that I'm not aware of. Uh, and here it is. Verify the camera was allowed for apps. We just looked at that. Verify the teams had access to the camera. Failed, no camera found. So pretty much any program that you pull up that uses camera and you try to select the camera and if it's not there, it's going to fail. All right, the camera is not being detected is what the main issue is here. I don't think these are any settings and you know, you try to verify all the drivers were updated, failed, camera not found. So if the camera is not found, I mean, what can you do, right? The only thing pretty much is that it's a physically not working and uh, in some odd situations where I've seen a camera not working and it kind of looked like everything was fine like the camera is found you can even select it and this and that I've seen an issue where for example if it's a built-in camera on the laptop that there's a sliding actually tab that actually you can move and obstructs the camera view so I've seen that it's not related to this uh, anybody else got any ideas I mean it's kind of straightforward here because if it's not found in the device manager, that just means that the camera itself is just bad. It um, it has to be a physical hardware issue at this point because it's there's not you know there's nothing to do. And again, I mean, you can check in the device manager to see if it comes up under a weird menu where there's like exclamation mark on the side and see if it's listed under unknown device. And if that's the case, that might be the camera itself. I can't recreate that here because I don't have that error. But uh, if there is something that stands out, it would be expanded just like this. Or let me, you know, kind of like this. And there would be one with an exclamation mark. And it would say unknown device, failed to install, blah, blah, blah. And it kind of sounds like you've checked all of that. 
and if there's absolutely nothing else in here that simply means it's not working that the, physically it's broken and not working or not even plugged in um, i mean i guess if it's an external camera oh no it's a laptop camera so i was going to say if it's a external camera maybe the uh, usb devices devices are disabled but that's not the case it's an internal camera it's probably physically broken and if it's under warranty i would have it replaced and fixed under warranty hello vincent this is Irvin with pc support have your ticket about webcam not working it looks like you've checked everything correctly I think well I'm gonna say I agree with you that it's most likely a bad bad most likely bad hardware slash or parentheses camera so you know it's physically broken I'm gonna say if possible to fix under warranty I would why can't I warranty I would uh, contact you know well you know I would say if if you if possible to fix under warranty I would do that so for example contact HP Lenovo Dell or ETC I don't know if I spelled the novel correctly I probably didn't there I spelled it correctly now <laughs> so that's what I would do because it does really seem like it's just bad I don't know I, I there's nothing else really to check if it's not showing up under the device manager then there's nothing you can do all right I, I'm gonna leave it at this only mainly because we only have two tickets that are unassigned and not work these are all tickets we've worked from previously i've waited on three of these to get a response i did not get any response so for those reasons i'm just going to close them just to make room while we while i'm talking about this yasin close complete if this is not long enough for you check out my previous video which was on office 365 where i set up a help desk basically i create a team the whole series ended up being uh, getting to a point where we create a new team for the company which was the help desk for the company we set up users for that including going to the service now part of it so i uh, know uh, it's it's a good video to learn just to see how you would how i would go about it and how you could uh, uh, possibly do the same thing